Hey, what's up you guys? Yes, today we're going to be taking another trip onto the weird side of YouTube. And I'm so excited because today we're going to be talking about something I've been fascinated with for years. We're going to be talking about real life Vampires. Bitch, you heard me right. These are people who consider themselves vampires. They drink blood, I think. They don't go outside. People make fun of them and think that they are crazy. And I'm related to two out of three of those. <laughs> so first, we're going to be watching some real-life vampire videos and reacting to them. Let's do this. I drink human blood as much as I can. Oh, oh. Everybody has their own flavor, their own taste. Mine's mayonnaise. <laughs> I have a lot of thoughts, but let's keep watching. There is definitely a difference between drinking a man's blood and a female's blood. A man's blood, to me, has always been thicker in some way. Me. <laughs> Michelle's preferred way to consume human blood is straight from her donor. I always make sure it's from somebody that I'm close to. <laughs> so That's good. <laughs> like, you see somebody walking down the street and you're like, damn. I bet that blood is thick. Don't come to my meet and greet. <laughs> because bitch, I'm giving you that thickness. Oh God. Oh my God! I cut myself. Um, the pain doesn't really get to me. I'm pretty used to it, you know? Me when I look at my hate comments. <laughs> I'm more focused on the aftermath or, you know, during, you know, the, pro the process of, you know, the feeding, if you will. That made my asshole clench. <laughs> Let me, by the way, just say, I am not judging. I am all about people doing whatever the fuck they want. Oh my god, vampires went on Tyra. I'm ready. So you drink people's blood? Correct. <laughs> <laughs> Tyra. <laughs> so how do you get the blood from people? Okay, um, the blood is pulled from the vein, of course, with a lancet. Usually hooked up oh, to Oh, like a, a needle, like a... A needle, oh, lancet. Okay. And it's usually... Tyra's like, okay, good, because, like, I'm on my period right now. <laughs> And like the flow is heavy, so just know this buffet is not for you. Okay, this guy's name is Logan South, who is probably the most famous real life vampire. Let's check it out. Hi everyone, my name's Logan South, and I, I'm a vampire. <laughs> the eyes are making me feel things. <laughs> this is also giving me flashbacks to when I used to shop at Hot Topic. Number five, do you drink blood? Um, yeah, sometimes. There are actually a few different ways of feeding. Uh, I do have a donor. Whenever they say feeding, <laughs> something in my body like shrivels up. Maybe because I know I'm food. <laughs> like I'm afraid to go around these people because they're gonna look at me and be like, Ugh. I'm like a walking Big Mac to them. <laughs> the first and foremost uh, is what we're all familiar with. Blood drinkers. Why did that turn me on? Does he have a girlfriend? Is he like single? <laughs> What's the situation? Oh wait, I think he's married. This is called a royal wedding. Oh my God. Bitch, yes. Oh. Yes, bitch, what? Why am I getting so into this? <laughs> yes, turn the corner. Killing it. Oh, bitch, yes. I want that done. Fucking have sex right now. <laughs> That's a big ass house. Why are vampires richer than me? <laughs> Is it because my videos suck? I hate myself. Ooh, we're gonna see them have sex. What? You're gonna give me the lead up? To you guys walking into a bedroom, looking like damn Tim Burton characters come to life. And then you're gonna say to be continued. Well, I want more, Logan South. So I actually reached out to Logan and I said, hey, do you wanna be in my video and talk to me about your life as a vampire? And he said yes. So here you go. Here is my interview with a vampire. Okay guys, I am here with Logan and Daly, the vampires. Oh my God. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> Okay, I have a lot of questions. First, I want you guys to just explain exactly what you are. You say you're vampires. Does that mean you're really vampires? Is it more like a lifestyle or cosplay? Lifestyle implies a choice. And cosplay, you know, that's more costuming and, and stuff like that. But no, as far as being a vampire, that is something that is uh, innate. What a vampire is is someone that requires an external source 
of human energy. So would you say you were born a vampire? Is this something that you realize at a certain point in your life? So I believe that it can be passed down from parent to child, but it is also something that you come to understand uh, in the process that we call an awakening. Wait, okay, so you're sitting there and you're just like a normal kid who's like, I don't like going outside, I don't like the sun, I kind of like blood. And then you have your awakening, so what does that feel like? I remember uh, being in high school and constantly feeling thirsty and feeling like I hadn't had anything to drink in, in days. And I would just chug down these bottles of water and nothing was, was replenishing that. And I was no longer able to go out into the sun like I used to be able to do. For me, I was actually discovered by a coven of vampires uh, in high school. And they came up to me and they said, have you been experiencing these things? And I said, yeah. So they explained it and it just clicked in my head. But it goes throughout your life. You're constantly learning about yourself. I learned to feed blood originally. Now I have learned multiple paths from feeding. So I can feed uh, from energy, uh, from sexual energy, from a room, from ambient feeding. Okay, feeding, I'm obsessed with this. So you talk about getting your sources from different places. One of them is blood. How do you get it on a regular basis? Do you have to find somebody? Is there like a Tinder for blood? Like, how does that work? <laughs> First of all, you want to find a, a donor that you can screen, that you can have tested, that you can get a full blood work done on, full panel. Um, Writing this us, down. <laughs> we have donors that we, we have uh, had a screen that are important to us, that we share intimate bonds and relationships with. So you find your donor, and then is there like a ceremony? Do you guys like just hang out and watch Big Brother and then like say, let's suck? <laughs> it's it work. No, it's, uh, it's definitely not any ceremony, definitely not any ritual. I, not wish, I wish we were as cool as people. They'd be like, oh, is it like a satanic thing? Like... <laughs> now, question about, you said it's not a lifestyle and you don't like that word, but there are going to be a lot of people watching that are going to be like super into it and intrigued and want to like try it out for themselves. How do you go about that? Is that offensive to you? If I try to be a vampire for a day, is that I like... Have no problem with the vampire lifestyle as long as people understand that there are two different things. Right. There's vampires that do both that are actually vampires and live a vampire lifestyle. We do that. And there's people, there's vampires that wear a t-shirt and jeans and work at the corner store. Like, right. the two are not the same. Can I see the contacts? Can I see the fangs? Can I sure. I just want to see yep. I take the exact color and shade using professional grade dental acrylic and I make little things right here. I'll try to show that to you Whoa, again. Oh, that looks yeah. very real. Uh, and they slide on. Just right over your natural teeth. Let me see if I can lean in nice and close for you here. Oh my god. Wow! Oh yeah, yeah, get in here, girl. Yes! <laughs> I love it! Wow! So, okay, question about your guys' relationship. When I was watching your videos earlier, um, without sounding creepy or perverted, like, all I wanted was to see you guys have sex. So, have you ever thought about a sex tape? And is there like a sexual side to this vampire world? And uh, how do I get involved? <laughs> I, I wouldn't say that it, vampirism is itself a inherently sexual thing. But for some, those who take sexual energy, it absolutely can be. And as it turns out, we're a couple of those people that do that. Yes! So, uh, we actually run a uh, fetish club here in Austin, Texas called VAMP. Suddenly, I have tickets to Austin. <laughs> it's a gorgeous club, a two-story club with black and gold and chandeliers and stripper bowls and private rooms. And it's BYOB. You got to bring your own. Bring your own um, blood. We don't serve any liquor on premises. There are plenty of playrooms upstairs that people can engage in whatever illicit activities they've decided on that night. <laughs> and we have, you know, all the different BDSM furniture and such. So uh, St. Andrew's Cross, if you really want to get strapped up there, you know. <laughs> and, uh, now, as far as uh, sex tape, no. We have had sex there in front of people, though. So. It's been a thing. Uh, you uh, have sex us. in front of, like, other vampires? And they're just, well, wait, what? Well, sure, yeah, it's a fetish club. This is the kind of thing that happens in a fetish club. People have sex. People like to watch other people have sex. I, sorry, I'm clearing my schedule. <laughs> I'm clearing my calendar. <laughs> On more of a serious note, do you get made fun of? Like when you're walking around town or are you well known so people don't really make fun of you? I would say that other people that I've known have had that experience and I feel that that's, that's inherently wrong. We don't usually have that happen. Uh, I have had a lot of people that respond to me with fear and in a lot of cases that's because I want them to because there are some people that I don't want to be talking with, some people that I can see are inherently rude or bigoted or racist or transphobic or homophobic, and I want that person to go away. Right. 
And so I'll turn on that little extra thing that I have to make them want to leave. How do I incorporate that into my life? Because <laughs> that would be great. Uh -huh. Another thing is we also do a lot of uh, fundraisers and charity organizations. We volunteer at the children's hospitals and, and the food banks. So it takes away that extra reasoning that people have to bully or to make fun yeah. or to, to be rude. Well, thank you guys for talking to me. I feel like this has shed some light. I'll go. Uh, no, but I think this is really cool and interesting and uh, hopefully this opens up people's minds a little bit. And it's not a lifestyle, but if you're into it, you can kind of join the lifestyle, right? Oh yeah, definitely. We, we accept everybody. Well, perfect. I will book my ticket <laughs> to Austin <laughs> today. <laughs> okay, so even though Logan and Daly said that being a vampire is not like something you choose and it's not really a lifestyle, I still want to try it. So I'm going to force Ryland to do it with me and we're going to be the new king and queen of the vampires. <laughs> Okay, so I thought it would be fun if we tried to be a vampire couple, because I feel like we have a lot of vampire qualities. Like, for instance, I never go outside. <laughs> I fucking suck. <laughs> and also, he literally has fangs. Like, those are real. Halloween stores are shook. So I have a bunch of stuff here <laughs> that we are going to try out for our new vampire life. Vampire haul! <laughs> Creepy music now. Okay, so first I have a top hat, which I feel like is really fashionable and will also distract people from my face. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> okay, so for you, I got this costume. <laughs> it was the gayest one I could find. Honestly, I'm into it. I feel like I'm going to be serving a look. Yeah, no, you're really going to suck in this. <laughs> oh my god, you're going to suck my dick. <gasps> no, I'm not. <laughs> this is mine. Um, I got the guy who looks like Michael Jackson. <laughs> Um, also, he has a little bit of blood on his shirt because he's a messy eater and it says one size fits most so I probably won't fit. I also got this like black vampire fan because I felt like I'm gonna be a shady vampire. Oh, you think I'm the suckiest YouTuber? Obviously, you've never been to VidCon. I also got the dog a costume and the cat a costume. <laughs> um, I don't think this is gonna go well, but they're definitely gonna bite me <laughs> and suck my blood. So we are going to transform into vampires in three, two, one. I chime in with the habit you've ever heard of. <laughs> this is a look. I am living for your chest hair. <laughs> uh, no, this sucks. <laughs> What do you mean? <laughs> well, okay, let's get like a full rundown of the outfit. First of all, the hat is killing it, does not fit my huge head. <laughs> the shirt is quite revealing. You can tell I never go outside by the color of my white skin. But I'm kind of feeling this panic at the disco jacket. Like my Wikipedia bio just went from bi to gay. <laughs> now let's get your look. You look like an actual predator. <laughs> Who is going to go to Hot Topic and show people your balls? Also, I love that like my house already has vampire decor. <laughs> well, except for him. <laughs> Give like your best vampire mating call. <sighs> that honestly was everything. <laughs> like my dead white dick just came alive. <laughs> uh, so I don't have things, so I bought these, but they were too complicated to uh, figure out. <laughs> so I'm going to try to put them in my mouth using a glue stick. <laughs> So I guess what I'll do is just take the glue stick and then just attach it like that. Ew. <laughs> is this glue edible? I don't know. It kind of works when you're a dollar store vampire. <gasps> oh my god. Ew. <laughs> don't get too close. <laughs> They're really showing how yellow my other teeth are. I love this. It's giving me a lift. <laughs> okay, so now that we have our fangs and our outfit, <laughs> It's time to try some blood. <laughs> Wait, what? I have here something I got on the internet. This is a vial of blood. Now, supposedly, <laughs> literally I have a lip. So supposedly this tastes just like blood, but it's not actual blood. Are you ready? Yeah. So let's just crack this baby open. I want to kind of see how it actually looks. Oh. My. Ew! <laughs> that looks like real blood. <gasps> wow. Okay, let me try it. That, oh my god, I'm hard. Well, actually, it does taste like blood. It's sweet and salty. Like, you know, when, if you've cut yourself. Okay, my Twitter feed. <laughs> so no, if you cut yourself, it's a little bit salty, but this has a hint of sweet, but it does taste like blood. Okay, me when I'm like a fucking blood review channel. It's like sweet and salty, have a hint of. Okay, uh, wait, now I wanna put it on you maybe. Or no, on your neck. Sexy music now. Ooh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> <Give it to me. laughs> 
Too close. Okay, a one solid lick. Okay, that's my new single. Okay. That, yeah, that tastes like blood. I've tasted my own blood a lot. I used to get punched in the face. <laughs> that's kind of fun. Like, honestly, you can't with the lips. I'm not even trying if it's happening. Honestly, the blood is not that bad. Have you ever sucked on Penny? No. Okay, <laughs> when you weren't poor as a kid. Uh, when I was a kid, I would get bored, so then uh, I would take pennies and I would just suck on them. We're very different. No one can relate. <laughs> Wait, we gotta fucking put the animal costumes on. We need the rest of our squad. Oh my god. Oh my god, and it's perfect because he really bites me. <laughs> All right, you're gonna put on Uno? Come on, Cheeto. Oh my god. Wait, you have to get his top hat. Okay, stick. Oh. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I love it so much! <laughs> we are taking a family portrait now, bitch! Come on, show the whole family! Oh my god. <laughs> Happy vampire day! Ow! Fuck! Ow! Ow! Oh fuck. Oh wow. Oh. How did he. <gasps> Magic! <laughs> Well, there you guys go. Ho ho ow. <laughs> you enjoyed watching me explore a new lifestyle. Uh, in general, I just want to say I find this stuff really cool. Like, I don't want to look like I'm hating on it or making fun of it. I get it, and I think it's kind of cool to, like, be involved in a community of people who you relate to, and you can... Uno just killed himself. <laughs> What just happened? What I was trying to say before my pets tried to leave the earth was that I think that we should not be judging people based on what they do in their free time or how they express themselves or a community that they consider themselves a part of. And that's part of the reason why I like doing this series and uh, I think it's really cool. So go send Logan some love and let me know down in the comments what lifestyle or weird side of YouTube I should explore next. All right, you guys, make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and you want more. Also, make sure to subscribe to my channel right down below and hit the notification bell because I make new videos every day. And if you want to see all my other other weird side of YouTube videos. I did one where I talked to a furry, an adult baby, and I even tried out ASMR. I'll put a link to a playlist right at the top of the description below. All right, you little vampires, I will see you tomorrow. Keep sucking. <laughs>